the direction of the magnetic force to a current carrying wire due to a magnetic field is well described using the right hand rule. As we know, a force is exerted on a current carrying wire placed in a magnetic field. The current is a collection of many charged particles in motion. If there is no current running through the wire, then we get zero magnetic force. But if there is current, then we will notice that the wire will be deflected. The direction of the magnetic force depends on the direction of the current as well as the direction of the magnetic field. Perhaps the easiest to identify is the magnitude of the magnetic force. We use the formula F is equal to L times B times I times the sine theta, where F is the magnetic force in newtons, L is the length measured in meters, B is the magnetic field measured in tesla, I is the current measured in amperes, and the angle here is between the magnetic field and the current. We will get the maximum value if the current and the magnetic field are perpendicular to each other. The direction of the magnetic force will be identified using the right hand rule. As an example, a 0.25 meter wire carrying a steady 30 ampere current has a length between the pole faces of a magnet. The magnetic field is approximately uniform at 0.90 tesla directed north. The wire is at an angle of 90 degrees to the field and its current runs from left to right. Determine the magnitude and direction of the force on the wire. First, we draw a diagram showing the given quantities to get a better understanding of the problem. We have the direction of the magnetic field which is to the north and the current is to the right. Next is to identify all the given. The length of the wire is 0.25 meters. The current is 30 amperes. The magnetic field is 0.90 tesla and the angle between the current and the magnetic field is 90 degrees. We are looking for the magnetic force. We will be using the formula F is equal to L times B times I times sine theta. We just need to substitute the given quantities to our formula. Take note that the unit tesla is the same as newton per meter ampere. Now we can eliminate all the units leaving as the unit newton. So the magnitude of the magnetic force is 6.75 newton. We can get the direction using the right hand rule. We can go back to this problem later on. Let's try to learn how to use your right hand rule. But before we'll go there, these are the common symbols used to indicate directions. We use an arrow pointing upward for north, positive y, or up directions. A left arrow for west or negative x or to the left direction. An arrow pointing downward for south or negative y or downward direction. For right, east or along the positive x axis, we have an arrow pointing to the right. For three dimensions, we have an X mark most of the time inside a circle to indicate a direction pointing into the board, into the paper, or in our case, into the screen. The X mark signifies the tail of an arrow. A point inside the circle indicates that the direction is out of the board, out of the screen, or out of the paper. The point indicates the head of the arrow. As you know, a magnetic field and the current have directions and these two directions lie on the same plane. In this example, they lie in X and Y plane. If that doesn't make sense to you, imagine a certain angle. These two directions appear as a single line. And what do we get from here? 
the magnetic force is always perpendicular to this plane or to the line. You can imagine that as the z-axis. And this figure can be copied by your right hand. Your four fingers will be the magnetic field while your thumb is the current. The direction where your palm is facing is the direction of the magnetic force. Let's do some practice. Let's say we have a magnetic field pointing to the right and the current pointing up. If you position your four fingers to the right and your thumb upwards, your palm will be facing into the screen. And that's also the direction of the magnetic force. Let's try another one. The magnetic field up, the current to the left. Therefore, your magnetic force will be into the screen as well. For number three, the magnetic field up, the current out, the magnetic force would be to the left. Some more examples. We have magnetic field down, current out. The magnetic force would be to the right. The second one, magnetic field in, current down. The magnetic force would be to the right. The third one, magnetic field in, current to the right. The magnetic force would be upwards. How about this three? Magnetic field to the left, current in, the magnetic force would be upward. Second one, magnetic field out, current down, the magnetic force would be to the left. The last one, magnetic field out, current up, magnetic force would be to the right. How about if the angle is not 90 degrees? Well, from 1 degree until 179 degrees, just do exactly what you do as if the angle is 90 degrees. They have the same direction but they will have different magnitude because in the formula, you will be substituting different angle. For 0 and 180 degrees, well, the magnetic force is 0. So let's try the first one. The magnetic field is pointing upward and the current is to the right even though with an angle. So the magnetic force would be out of the screen. For the second one, even though the current has an angle, it still points to the left. Therefore, you point your thumb to the left. The magnetic force would be into the screen. So let's go back to our original problem. The magnetic field is pointing upward and the current is to the right. The direction would be out of the screen. And that's how to use your right hand rule. So that's it for me today. Remember that correct practice makes you better, so keep solving.